Welcome to Land of House, I'm Seth. It's been a month or so since I've made a family vlog, and so I thought I would pick up the camera and uh, just film a little bit this afternoon. The kids and I just got back from church, and then we went to Walmart to get our groceries for the week. So we're gonna unload these and go get something to eat real quick. Um, hey, Arrow, what would you like to eat? Um, watermelon. Watermelon? Yeah. I thought you wanted rice soup. Rice soup, rice soup. Rice soup, rice soup, okay. You wanna carry something? How about you carry your favorite chips? Yeah. Can you carry one that heavy? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's too heavy. How about you carry this bread? No? no? Alright, that'll carry everything. How about that? Yeah, let's go inside and get you some rice soup, okay? Yeah, it was heavy. Yep, will you help me pour it in there? Yeah. Okay, let me open it up. Okay, and yeah. then very carefully dump it in. Whoop, yep, okay, good job. All right, let's put a little bit of water in there, okay? okay. All right, for lunch today, Arrow's got rice soup chips and some raspberries, and then Emma has got salami, pepperoni, raspberries, and chips. Wanted to give you an update on some things that are going on around in the house here. So this used to be my wife Ashley's office. She had a bunch of books here and a desk and computer. Well, uh, I've now moved some of my storage over here and got some of my books into the office. I built this rolling library ladder uh, years ago. It slides on this track and lets you get up to the top shelf. My wife was uh, shorter, so she needed that. And then I've got my editing machine over here with my desk. And the room that was my office is now gonna be a kid's art and school room. So I'm gonna get some chairs for in here. We've got the bookcase over there. Uh, this was where my tool second gear, um, t like my tech part of things was gonna be filmed, but I'll probably move all of that stuff out. Um, but I can use this wall over here for chalkboard stuff. Um, anyway. Just kind of a nice place to have uh, the kids' room. And if paint gets on the floor, no big deal. Daddy, yes. I want you need some what? Huh? I want you bungee. Whenever we were getting our house, I designed it to have a fireplace, and we used it a couple of times, but fireplaces are so inefficient, I decided that I would do something new. So you can see I've taken out all the brick and the door. I'm gonna actually cut out some of that lower panel so that it's flat on the ground. And let me step out here and show you uh, what I have going in that place. Also, kids and I just got the Christmas tree up this week. Looks pretty good. I've got a 317 pound box here. Let's see if I can show you the logo there. Buck Stove. I got the uh, 21 model and it is made for going into a fireplace, what I've got right now. So that stove should really uh, keep our house warm whenever it uh, lose power or just tossing a log on there if I need it in the winter time but anyway I just stuck all this stuff right here for now I'll use some of that here whenever I go to put that in but just came in and it's nice except for paint and trim the power shed is doing really well I think I'm gonna open that up real quick and give you a very brief sneak peek of the videos that are about to come out um, showing the insides of all of that but basically I have got 3k of solar right here and also a hydro turbine that um, both meets up in this power shed to um, supplement the power in the house and I'm about to install the off-grid inverter so I'll have a few outlets inside as well so if the power is totally off we can still run some things off of the solar that we've got out here. Here's your brief look of all the electronics. I'm saving this side right over here for something special and then I'm gonna put that off-grid inverter right down here and then I'm gonna leave all this space up here for testing of product that people send, or that companies send. But anyway, all of this will be in a dedicated video coming up very soon. So my sister lives in a single wide right now, and uh, underneath her house there's a crawl space and a mouse or several mice have chewed a little hole through the door, the access door there, and uh, they're getting into the house. So I thought I would take some of this uh, aluminum strip that used to be a drone that I made years ago and uh, cover up that hole and maybe the whole outside edge of that little door. So uh, we're going to go over there in just a bit and install that 
I think that's going to be the easiest thing to uh, put up there. But I'm going to bring the angle grinder so I can cut it down to size and just use some of these holes that are already in this scrap to uh, mount this to that door. And hopefully that will prevent the mice from being able to get into her home. Here's the cross space door we're working with. As you can see, there is quite a gap here on this side. And it looks like the bottom is going to be good. It's pretty much flush with their um, concrete. So I think maybe if I can just mount this on here, I may have to cut, well, I don't know. A mouse might be able to make it in there. For now, let's cut a piece that is from right here down to the bottom and just mount that and see if it prevents the mice. I've learned a lot from my dad over the years, but the main thing I've learned from him is come home from church, stay in your church clothes, change the oil in the car, and cut metal with an angle grinder. All right, I just marked this piece of metal right here. I'm gonna cut that and hopefully that's all we need to keep these mice out. I may also just lightly cut the corner to uh, let that cord go through. Well, I didn't think that I was gonna have to put one on the bottom, but this board is so rotten, it just needs to be replaced. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a whole nother bar down there just to uh, keep this stuff right here from happening because that just broke off really easy. Um, there may still be a way a mouse can fit in there, probably so. So I may have to uh, come back with a smaller piece and just cover the rest of that. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this last one down here and this will be good for this side. I think there's another one of these doors on the other side. I'll definitely have to come back and put a new board on here because this thing is just falling apart. But uh, this board right here was supposed to be down here and it has just uh, crumbled. So I think I'm going to try to reinstall it. I don't know if I can. I don't have screws long enough for it. But anyway, uh, basically this bottom bar down here has nothing to grab onto because that board is so rotten. So, um, But at least having that down there I think will be sufficient to keep mice out for now. I had hoped that door had a bit more material to it, but it seems like it is pretty well shot. There is another one over here, probably just as bad. Let's go ahead and see what we're working with. Oh yeah. The work we were just doing over there isn't going to do anything because obviously they can just crawl right under that. Oh man. Okay. Well, uh, new plan. We need to bring up some plywood, preferably treated and uh, just replace both of these doors. I think that will be the next step. Um, all right, so what we did over there <laughs> doesn't make much difference. I had no idea the back access door was gonna look so bad. So I think what I'm gonna do is just take a piece of sheet metal and just cover that whole thing. Uh, I tried to open that door and it has not been opened in quite a while. So I don't think that anybody has tried to use that um, on the back side of my sister's house. Anyway, uh, I'll take care of that later. Uh, so how are we doing? Um, pretty good. The uh, uh, court date is coming up pretty soon for us to have our hearing and we're going to go over all of our terms and stuff for our divorce. Um, so if you're new to the channel you may not know anything about this but uh, my wife and I have separated and uh, we tried to do mediation and those attempts uh, did not go through and so we're going to just go to court and do all of that. Um, the kids are well. They're having a time of their lives. And um, myself, I am, you may have noticed, I've done some more reviews lately. Um, for instance, the uh, power stations I've been doing. Uh, court costs are kind of costly. And so I am uh, kind of doing some of these things to make up for that. Um, kind of just, I guess, sponsored videos. Um, but I am doing well. I have definitely uh, a big support group that I enjoy. Um, through our church, which has been really helpful. Um, so, uh, yeah, no need to worry about us as far as uh, our mental health. We seem to be uh, just fine. But I've got a few more um, electronics things coming up. And also my Tools, Tech, and Gear channel. I am doing some more reviews on that because I have something very exciting that I'm now working with. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, yeah, here it is. So for the past, well, since 2013, I've been making videos here on YouTube uh, for the Land of House channel at least. I had another couple of channels before that that I never did anything with. Um, but I used a, um, an iPod Touch, second generation, terrible camera, uh, terrible audio 
for my, it was probably the first, I don't know, 15, 20 videos on the channel. And then I got a, um, a Canon uh, 7D and it did have the record option for video. And I used that for several videos. But since uh, four years ago, I've been using the, um, the Canon G7X Mark II. That's what I'm filming on right now. Well, I've had lots of people say that the audio quality has been poor, and so introducing the Canon G7X Mark III. This camera is basically the Mark II, but it has the option to use, uh, let me focus on that. It has a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and so I now have the Rode Wireless Go uh, number two, and that is basically a wireless transmitter and receiver that you can hook up to the camera. And I've just got this little standoff here to bring that out away from the camera a little bit. Anyway, I'm looking forward to using that to improve the audio quality of my videos. So basically, I hook up one of these little transmitters like this one right here. It's got the little furry dead cat windscreen on there and uh, that will allow me to hopefully have really solid audio for my videos uh, moving forward here. I'm going to still try to make my videos, I've been doing a lot, uh, one to two a week on tools, tech, and gear, and then four a week, and this week will be five on Land a House. Um, since I left my job as third shift, I'm really trying hard to be a real YouTuber, and it has not been easy. Um, trying to come up with some ideas that I can do uh, enough videos in one day of filming to, uh, to get all the content out. So today is Sunday and I'm filming this vlog here all in just a couple of hours time um, just to give you a little heads up about what's going on in life. But um, where, I'm rambling. Uh, anyway, so basically I'm saying there may be kind of a lull for about two weeks um, in the content if I'm not able to get all the stuff done with the upcoming court dates. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's just a quick little vlog. I thought I would pull the camera out and speak for a couple of hours and uh, just give you kind of an afternoon with us. Um, my sister was grateful that I at least tried to get one of her uh, mouse entrances covered and I'll have to come back out there and do that uh, other side. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. If you're new to the vlog, it's kind of uh, just a bunch of random clips, just like this video here. But anyway, the kids and I are gonna go in here and uh, watch some Bluey. Uh, it's a really good cartoon for some kids. But all right, I'll see you in the next video.